I'm not doing this for clout. I'm not doing this for anything. This does nothing for my fight. This is just me trying to give the facts and the truth of what I've seen throughout the years. And during this point and this time, there's a lot of eyes on me and I'm bringing awareness for the kids, the little kids that are hurting. I know you guys seen that video. I'm not even gonna say the name, but you know what I'm talking about. It starts with the J. And I'm trying to be as, I'm trying to be as calm as I can. Trust me, I'm trying to be as calm as I can and I'm trying to be as safe as I can, but, but there will be a time. My why, it, last fight, was for my son, Henry. I wanted to fight for him and, and that's what I give the fight to. This time, it's for the children around the world. I'm gonna give you guys some facts, since some people want some facts. Three fast facts, and I got a paper here because everybody likes facts, they want papers, right? Everybody wants the proof, okay. Well, let's go into, this is surface level proof. This is, this is common knowledge if you're really paying attention. Okay, the first fact, with human trafficking, including sex trafficking, the global industry of human trafficking, including child sex trafficking, is estimated to be worth 150 billion annually. That's crazy, that's crazy. 150 billion annually. Do you understand what that means? I don't even know how much Amazon is worth, but if this is worth 150, 150 billion, I mean, it's about time we start paying attention for the children. Number two, globally, the International Labor Organization estimates that 1.2 million children are trafficked each year. 1.2 million children are trafficked each year. Around the world. Around the whole world. The U.S. in particular, where we live, where I live, the U.S. is the number one nation in the world for consuming child sex material. Now, those are the three facts. And, and I already know about this. I'm gonna go a little deep. No, don't worry. I'm not gonna go into too deep stuff because at the end of the day, I got a lot of people telling me not to do this. A lot of people, you gotta understand the pressure I have. A lot of people are asking, can you guys stop Stop trying to join the live, please. I'm trying to speak facts right now. But let them know you're trying to leverage your okay. platform. And of course I'm trying to leverage my platform. For what? For the kids. Amen. So, dude, they're putting hats on me. I'm being serious right now. <laughs> At the end of the day, I got a lot of people that told me not to do this. That it's gonna get bad for me. I don't care, I live for God. I don't live for anybody else. I'm gonna touch this really quick, really, really quick. The rules of satanic worship is it needs to be in your plain sight. That's all I'm gonna say. So everything that I'm saying is right in front of your face and you're not doing anything about it. You're not doing anything about it. I'm screaming to the world, putting my reputation on the line. I got people wanting to cancel the fight. People telling me I need to go to a mental rehab to pit me into the psych ward because I'm speaking the truth. Please help me and you help the children. You ask me what the next step is? I feel like we need to get together. I feel like we need to get together. I feel like we need to get together every every time. Drug. They're gonna keep doing this to children. You know, Jeffrey Epstein ain't the only island. Hmm. That's what I will say. They blackmail each other so they can have a, a union where they won't snitch on each other. Think about that. They do horrible things together so they don't snitch against each other and they're rich so they hold each other accountable. If you, if you say something, I'm gonna say something and everything comes down. Think about it. Let them, let them know about okay. your foundation when to start too. And I'm starting my foundation, Save the Children. Also release the truth, nonprofit, I don't want anything. Have I asked for one dollar from any of you guys? Have I made a dollar from anything I'm saying? If anything, I've probably lost money. It's crazy that you lost money for speaking the truth and trying to save children. What sane world do we live in? We, it, it's insanity for telling the truth now. 
in a, in a world full of lies. Everybody went crazy when I said Bohemian Grove, and I'm not going to get into that. But it's the truth. And, and I'm hurt every day because they have tried everything in their power to stop me. And God pulled me through. As you see the rough three days I went through, but God brought me out of it. And you see how more clear I am and everything I'm saying. All I say is, look at my tweets. Is there one lie? Tweets. Is there one lie? Look it up for me. Somebody, somebody pull out the facts. The most co cases of pedophilia and molestation globally in the entire world. How do I know this? Did they or did they not? Hold up. Come here. D did they or did they not let me in the Vatican? They did. Did they or didn't they not let me in the back room? They did. Did they or did they not show me all the stuff? They did. Another thing that a lot of people don't believe, but back in June, in the summer, this was before everything went down, but Israel and Gaza, BB wanted a meeting with me. Can you show them? All right, so this is on June 10th, 2023. One of BB's insiders asked to meet up with Ryan. He said, hey brother, good morning. I spoke with the prime minister, BB. He would like to meet Ryan, period. And it's right here on text, y'all can see. So that's, and I'm not gonna get further into that. That's just proof. Now you have a little bit more proof of what I'm saying. They think I'm lying, but I'm totally not. But let's get back to boxing. Let's get back, okay. Let's get back to this and how this is gonna shape your boxing, you know what I'm saying, your camp and give you the motivation. You see Muhammad Ali, right? He standed up for something that was right. He felt like it wasn't right and he went to jail for three years. I'm at the top of my career. I'm feeling the best at my game. I, I want, I, I'm gonna fight Devin Haney and I will beat him. And that fight is going to come on. Mm. But this is a moment in time where we, the generation, we know the truth now. Yeah, and we can stand up for what's right. You hear the cries of the children. You hear them. I have babies. I have little kids out there. Mm. My, my own children. I can't imagine that happening. There is no clout that I get out of this. I was living fine. I was making great money. I had a lot of, I, still making great money, but I had a lot of things going on. The same way they, the same way they came at Kanye. Kanye started telling the truth and they made him, they made him take pills. I'm not gonna take no pills. You're not gonna see me touch no pill. I would love to go live with a person one person, just one, who's went through what I went through. And don't even worry about this because what the, what the Illuminati and the elites do is they take what God did and make it theirs. That's something they do. So eyes have a angels, bodies are covered with eyes. That, that supernatural ability to see everything that's something God created. Your spiritual being, your spiritual self, your sense. Mm. That's something God created. But let, but let them know how this is going to push you forward for the fight, man. Like how this is your motivation for this fight. Ezekiel, I think Ezekiel 10, 12, I believe it is. Look mm. it up if you don't believe me. Anything you say, I say, just look it up. Just look it up. Ezekiel 10, 12, please. Because everybody thinks this is a joke. It's like the movie... Just look up. What's that movie, Look Up? With, with Leonardo DiCaprio, and, and, he, and he's screaming to the world, yo, the world is, is about, a, it, the world is ending. There's an asteroid coming. Everybody's like, yo, let's take some pictures. Remember, like the times of Noah, I'm gonna speak this, like the times of Noah, people will be drinking, and people will be marrying, and everything in life will be this, like, like normal. But God's calling up to his prophets and his people to speak of his return. So yeah, while you guys laugh and while you guys think this is a joke, why do you think Cat, Phil Cat Williams is exposing the truth? Why do you think so much truth is coming out? Hold on, hold on, let me just say something real quick though. Like, 
if if anybody is upset that Ryan is trying to shed light on child on children being sex trafficked, I think you are the one with the problem. I'm going to say that right now. And so with that being said, man, this whole camp is based on protecting the kids, saving the kids. And we're using that as motivation for this entire camp. So if you guys can't, be, can't get behind that message, I think you need to look in the mirror because you yep. need help. They don't even know we've been training. Hmm. You don't want, uh, if I lift up my hood, you'll see a six pack. I've been training. Amen. Shout out my coach, Sit TNT. TNT, baby. TNT. Let's go. My whole team's behind me. <laughs> if I show you my whole team, why do you think they're rocking with me? Why do you think they always, you know, they, they never deny me? Remember, the times will be like no one. Oh, why ever? There's stories of giants coming out, stories of aliens. Can you open your eyes once? The proof is there. I mean, I, I just personally want to say that. The, the proof is there. Well, let's get some, let's get some. Uh... Okay, I, I, I would love to get some questions. How do we start up questions? Interact? How do we interact? Questions, quick Paul drawing us. Lightning Q&A, perfect. I don't know how this works, but... Uh, and please don't be shy to ask questions about boxing, guys. Please. please. Yeah, please. Because they're already watching us, bro. <laughs> they're definitely watching us. I don't... That's not a, that's not a question. Do you, do you believe in love at first sight? Um, I think... <laughs> shoot. I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> you know, you know, right? <laughs> next. How do you get a next question? I don't know. Okay. No, you know. Do you for money or love? Do you for money or love? Happy when you're in a bad mood. I think just understanding that I, I, I'm on my way to uh, fulfilling what God has for me. And no matter the bad times, I just let God's will be done, not mine. And, and, that's, how, and that's how I do it. You know, um, I so wish I could tell you guys more. I love you guys. I don't wish for anything. I don't believe in nothing. No, we need some more. We we're gonna we're gonna go for deep questions. I I, I you know I want I want more uh, direct questions. For saying it's lagging. Yeah, of course. Who is threatening you? You have no idea who's threatening me. A lot of people. Where are all the boxing questions at? Come on. He has a big fight, 420, let's go. We turn it up. And we're saving children at the same time. And then we're gonna touch a little bit on what happened to me. I personally am not gonna speak on what happened to me because then it, it, it does invoke some real pain, mm -hmm. real anger. Mm -hmm. And um, I can't do it right now. Amen. They don't know half the things you've been through, bro. Keep it like that. I can't. All right, it looks like we're not getting oh, wait, any questions, wait, bro. Wait, wait, time travel. No, oh, hey, no, we can out, we can out, we can out. Bro. Hey, we out, y'all. No, I don't know bro. how to end this live. Bro. How do we end the live? Bro, for real. Oh, we're